We got a BW turnover ball gooseneck hitch GNRK1384. Okay, so this is an unexpected turn of events in a video. Do you know what happens when you are the only some bitch that saves everybody? You don't have any time to work on your own vehicles. So here's what has happened. My father-in-law hot shots. He was involved in an accident today and his truck is not making it back by itself and he has a load. Now, we are retards and we like to keep all of our vehicles. So we have this Chevy truck. I know it's ugly, flamer. It was built for a firefighter. That's why it has flames. This truck is a 12 valve swapped Chevy. It's called a Chummies, AKA the Chum Bucket. This truck would haul pretty much anything, right? And it was bought with a gooseneck that has been removed because of stuff. So diesel, one ton, dually, needs some work, doesn't start, is hydro boost and there's something funny with the brakes, right? Keeps getting air in the fuel system. Not good for a diesel. Now we move on. This truck, 1992 Dodge, D250, so two wheel drive, three quarter ton. Also with a Cummins turbo diesel. You know what happens when you are constantly helping everybody else fix their stuff? You don't have time to work on your own stuff. So again, we have two diesel trucks, typical standard early 90s Dodge, never heard of tight steering, uh, starting to have electrical issues, diesel swapped Chevy with the 12 valve Cummins with what is needed in the bed of the truck and holds a lot more and is much more comfy than, than this thing. And we'll go over here. Two wheel drive, Jeep, Jeep. Not, not gonna do anything. Oh, and GMC is two wheel drive, half ton. I'm glad this has the prep. It's a heavy duty truck. I'm surprised it, I, I would be surprised if it doesn't or didn't. It's right there. It's crunched up under your plate. So current state of the power wagon. Huh? Naked. <laughs> it's hard top is off. It's storage system is out. Hmm. And it's getting what? Goose neck plate. Well, turnover ball. Turnover ball. Same stuff that's in the Chevy truck. I'm sure this is gonna work. Yes. Your bed's dirty. Fucking very dirty. It's about the same color as the truck right now. Rough. <laughs> Although you can now see your power wagon don't care sticker again. Did we have like a fine point marker or something? No. Here, do you just need a regular Sharpie? Yeah, sure. Here. So, current state of the power wagon. A different one? What? Yeah, since we keep all of our garbage. Here you go. What? I mean, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Good thing about there was yeah, that was the last whole subject they had. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, I can't say the last one. They had a DeWalt one. Yeah, well, that's okay. But Milwaukee was actually the cheaper one. By one buck, by one dollar. <laughs> one dollar. No holla. No holla. <laughs> hey, just so you know, that's not a whole saw, it's a whole dozer. Whole the way? It's a whole dozer. Hey, so 
while you're down there, why don't you make it so a 37 fits in your spare? Well, I have to cut my frame, so. That's the problem. That's the problem with the frame. That's the problem. So wait till your dad gets back to the lows. That way the load's good. <laughs> Jared's drilling into his bed with shaky ass hands. I'm sure this is the last thing Jared wants to do with the truck. Well, no, we've talked about doing this because it's already kind of prepped for it. I told him, I said, if your dad wrecks it, make sure he totals it. <laughs> make it count, baby. The first cut is the deepest. <laughs> I told him, hey, now you can see your power wagon sticker. Oh, hey, you've been this morning yesterday, too? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I got a fun feeling this material it is really tough. I don't know, there's metal. That didn't take that long. Oh. Well, long. No, there's our Oh, shit. That's fucking cool. Prep's already so. That's all you gotta do is just cut the hole. Well, and he's gotta get the. I gotta do other shit too. I yeah. Well, yeah. Holes too, but yeah. That smells amazing. It's not, not great. Not, not great. It actually, it's not that bad. You can throw it over. Yeah. Okay. No, it's fucking Does it just plug right in? No, I gotta get this shoved in there somehow. Got it. Okay. Now what? Did you just hit the hitch? No, I hit it with my ribs. Hey, that isn't your head. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. I don't know. <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes. <laughs> okay, position the plastic space. <laughs> Place the fastener handles between the frame, cross member, and the bed. Those look like hockey sticks. Want to Do you really want to fight? Are you dumb? Somehow. <laughs> No, what? <laughs> oh, I, I told him. I'm like, look, the butt of your truck is the same color as the truck. <laughs> He's trying to figure out how this all works. Hopefully these tires don't freaking blow. Whoa. Power wagon or just power wagon? That's Mojave. Mojave thing. You wouldn't even go with your AC? He likes his color. Well, I know he likes his color, but you wouldn't go with your uh, AC? What if I get newer and hide it? Remember how I said I priced one out? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Go build a Delmonico 75th anniversary. Wait, you can make Delmonico 75th anniversary? Um. Well, it's the level two package, so it looks like a 75th anniversary. Are you done? Jeez. Are you sure you're going home? I'm going to make tacos. Do what, Jared? Push it in. Push it. Oh, what, that round thing? Push it in. Passenger side, on the outside of the truck. Yeah. Hop out. Yeah, I'm stuck. Fine. Okay. I'm gonna see, go over there. I see frame. Yeah, go to the driver's side. Sit Why didn't you just tell him to get out the driver's side? Pull the, uh, pull that metal handle back out, the one in. This one here? Yeah. Pull it back out. I gotta make sure we're not pinching anything as we do this. Okay. Okay. Can you 
put that beam kind of thing. Where did you put it underneath? Yeah, I had to go up above the wire. This wire, the wire loom? Yeah, I got to okay. go above that. I'm hitting right there. Can you like Pull turn it back a little bit? A little more. A little more. All right, try to pull it out. <clears throat> Somebody didn't have these inner fender liners. Oh. No, it's just the wire loom. Maybe. I think. Oh. All the way out. At least out quite a ways. That okay. Try well, to get so it's all the way out. Oh. I made it out quite a ways. Okay, that's all that matters. Okay. <laughs> Good talk. Do we know what we are doing? Never. Okay, I see it. Let me see if I can help you here. About now. It's still hitting solid. Okay, try pushing it now. I went a little bit more. Can you keep going? Eventually, it should get easier. That's what they usually say. Oh, oh, oh. There it oh, it got easier. Okay, I am behind. It's there. lost. That's not good. Well, I still got it. It just hurts a little bit more now. <laughs> How, how far? Oh, hold on here. Okay, I need you to push the handle towards the front of the truck a smidge. Okay. There it is. Yep. Okay, let me see right now. Did it do anything? <coughs> Try a little bit more. Let's see what it does. Okay. All right. Other side. Is that where it needs to be? Yep. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, this side. Oh, this side. Because of the exhaust? Yeah. Oh, okay, the other side. Hey, Bubba, hold on a second. Why don't you crawl in front of the tire? Crawl in front of the tire? Yeah. Okay. We're going to buzz that clamp off this tailpipe. See that clamp up there? So what you're saying is, is you should have undone your exhaust when you thought about it. Yeah. You know what? I was kind of excited. Sounds a little crusty, doesn't it? earlier today i'm like yeah we're eventually going to get to the power wagon maybe we should take it back to Cal colorado i about said california right yeah you're gonna get the power wagon are you being sarcastic yeah did we hit it on poughkeepsie gulch no but it's, it's chewed up i like how both doesn't want to go underneath the truck <laughs> All right, loud noises. I'm starting to think we might not have had the right size. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking that. It went, right. it went on there in a solid, so. Why don't we just ixnay that and let's just try. Okay, which way does it need to go in? Uh, the flat side. The correct is way. Facing down. Flat, flat side down? Yeah. Okay. This side might be easier. I don't think there's any wiring over here. Can you see it all yet? Nope. I'm about ready to go behind the inner fender. I can feel you. Huh? I can feel you. <laughs> he can feel you. <laughs> I need you to go a little more. Just there. Is that where you need it to be? You're really close. All right, can you push the handle to the front of the vehicle? All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, your skids are cute. So no wonder why it didn't come off. No. What matters is the socket's still good. You can't paint it on the inside. It's fine. Hey Jared, heads up. Did you ever do your exhaust? 916. Oh. Hey Bo. How you feeling? How's that going? Uh, it didn't work. I didn't give a shit what we got. Uh, I get to pick this up. Oh. And hold it and put both of them. Hey, so question. What's heavier, that or small block Chevy original starter? <laughs> No. Maybe put you up in there. What side do you want to go? You're going to be looking right down through that hole. It's going to be right in here. Um. Hold on. Crying. What? <laughs> hey, I still got one more bolt. That owl. I need to figure out how I need to square this up and make sure it's through in there. <laughs> you need light. Yeah. Camera. Action. I, I was kind of mentioning light would be great, wouldn't it? No. Three quarter. Pretty dark under here. Three quarter? Don't. Don't, don't even much. speak. Nope, I don't want what? to. Is that an extra shock? Yes. Why? Um, I'm assuming for wheel hop. What? I don't have an answer. That is basically. Hmm. Mmm. Yeah. And are flat. I might be where it's supposed to be. Yeah. I know. Well, it looks off up here. Yeah, and then also that metal uh, frame that we bolted that to. Yeah. It's the exact diameter of that metal plate. Oh. So it's not. So it's not going to move. move. Where it's at is where it's at. Right, so tighten. Yeah, because it's squared. Okay. Like uh, as far as twisted in there, it's not twisted at all. Don't forget to torque them. Oh, Jared told me. He gave it to you. I ain't got 150 foot pounds in my shoulder, so. You think he does? Yeah. He's got 149 and a half. Guess what, 149 and a half? <laughs> Boat's got again. 49. <laughs> if that. If that. What do you think this is, the Civil War? Is this the Bloods and the Crips? <laughs> what? No, because we get along. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the day. <laughs> you want to tighten those? Here's bolts, so keep that in, and these are self-locking. Okay. So you're going to have to... Yep. Not as much as me. I'm not going to get 150 foot-pounds down here. That's the question. Use your foot. Better you than me. I ain't got 150. Whoop! Oh, oh my God. Well, you don't need 150. I don't know. I'm Each foot know. needs to be what? 125, no, 75, 75. I can do math. Click, click. <laughs> it's torqued. Wow, boat. <laughs> oh, is this what we're doing, Bob? Dude, do you know who Lifestyle Overland is? I've heard of them, yeah. Okay, so uh, they had to swap out a tire on one of their trips and he didn't have a, a torque wrench, so when he went to do it, he goes click, click. <laughs> Okay, guess what? Cheater. I need a cheater. 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 Do you want both to do it? 
Seems how you got leverage. <laughs> you might have to help him. Did you get it or did you give up? I'm gonna pan back. <laughs> Put in the bag. No, no, big one. Because the extension, I think, is deflecting all that. Mm. Even if I get this thing to click, it's there's nowhere. It's there's no way it's gonna be accurate. I don't have good enough extension. Oh, we. That's that, that's the setting we're going for. No. I'm sure it wouldn't be you no, no. who just needs to wash this truck in general. What am I heading over there? Your truck? Where? Driver's side. Driver's side? I'm trying to see this handle. See this on the front side of the tire. Pull these two bolts if I can pry this and at least get it down. Is that the only two bolts? Just there. Yeah. So it's here. like the gladiator. Bolt. It's actually a screw. Okay. Uh oh, it clipped off right there. Got it. So if you click. Is your still on there, Jared? It's still there, I see it. I need to rotate this Does that work for you? Yep. Can we turn it back a little bit so I can get on the air side of this inner fender? Uh, how far? That's all I got. Are you being sarcastic? No, like, what we had to do to get that to work like that. So is this one designed for your truck or is this universal? No, it's for the power one, or for the three quarter ton range. I, I'm sure it's not for the power one. <laughs> it's for three quarter tons. It for the power wagon? No. no. It it didn't the power wagon. Nothing yeah. says it works for a power wagon. It, didn't know it. it probably says on the box not to use a power wagon. <laughs> I don't know. They're toys. Mm. We're getting They're there. Christmas ornaments. Oh, oh my God. It's stuck. Ah. Okay. Ooh, shiny. It's gold. Medical. It's your Jeep. Only better. It's your Jeep. Only better. Is that that sticker? That little one, yeah. I need up there. Well, get up there. Wait. Okay. We'll have the new mass air coil. Friday. You, you were able to open up. It's oh. HPT. I, I didn't even try it. I just know I, I can to... open it. Okay. So now you want that lever? So it drops in? Or actually, let's see here. Or so it locks. Yeah, never mind. Just, uh, Pull the lever to the uh, back of the truck for a minute to go. It's going to go by itself, though. Oh. Well, that's what Ryan had. That's what Ryan had back in the day. He said the ball got the 
called a turnover ball. So instead of a gooseneck plate. Which while you're done using it, you're good. Yeah. Okay, you need the drill index there. Or the drill bits. Index. I'm like, I what? I instantly realized what I did. So on that box, it says 1384, right? This box? The BW box. Oh, uh, where? This box? So they have part numbers on there, so you put the holes for the right one. Makes sense on their part. What are those holes for? Oh, they're the uh, daisy chains. Yeah. I'm gonna drill those. We got point two. Did it? Did it actually tell you to step it up from bit to bit to bit? Yes. Yeah, I didn't tell me what size, but yeah, I need a half inch drill bit. Come on, somebody wanna go see if they can find one be bigger than this. Is that your final, your final boss? Did you have it on three? <laughs> hey, do you have your little thing upside down? Your little handle that sticks out underneath your... Yeah, it's facing up. Yeah, I remember we looked how he fished it out through the... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely up. Nope, we're good now. Don't you gotta do all the other ones? He's got all done. He's got all done. Okay. Oh. These are little springy fillers. Go down like that. Yep. In the hole. They go up. So go up like this, Ernie? Yes. Like Stop a cup. It. And then Muscle the nut top. goes onto this. I don't know what size this is. You wanna go under with that? The nose? And a little buzzer buzz. Go. Go on now. <laughs> okay, how tight do I go? Tight, tight. As tight as your shoulder will let you. Did you just get metal on your hand? No. That is a lie. Are you locking nuts? Yes. 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 Okay. You got to mount this again. How are you going to mount that? I don't know. You need to have the proper. Can you I mean? Get, can I get wet? Aren't they designed to be under trucks? Yeah. So it's pretty much like my air compressor, right? You want to grab me uh, two of those popper clamp things?
here, Dougie. Cause all where where does that plug into on the truck? This goes right at the plug-in. Okay. Plugs in on the outside. Goes on the back side. Why is it so dark? Because all of our lights are above. That was There you go. Done and done. So, I'm going to send this with him. If he has to. I think you're going to have to bungee cord the snot out of it. You need to pull that out or something? Nope, it's back on. It's back in. Yep. Came off easy. Got to plug it up to the outside or what? Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Well, that Jared, is... you probably worked on something else. That's his own vehicle. Yeah. Oh my god. How do you feel? Deprived. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like me to shut up and go home now? Hey, I am Milwaukee Leaf Blower. That's the topper. It's the truck's hard top. It looks like a normal truck again. Ah, oh, did you notice anything? The stickers? Yes. That you can finally see again? Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely. Hey, ladies, I want to show you our mover truck. Hey, guess what? I scared Santa Claus. What? Here we go. Alright guys, it's the next morning after getting the power wagon all set up to go get my father-in-law's truck trailer and load out of impound. I don't know if he's coming to get it today. My husband said if he doesn't come get it earlier today, he is just going to take the power wagon, grab him, go down and get it because we're all Saturday and none of them work. But here's the truck. So. It is topless, the topper is off. Um, my husband got it off by himself uh, last night and the deck system out within like 30 minutes. Like he just gotta get this done. So the topper's off. We do have airbags for the camper. So we did use the clamps for the topper to remount the airbag air pump, spare tire. Here is the little, we put the handle in upside down. We don't think it matters. It's actually supposed to be facing this way, but here it is. So the good thing about this is when you take the ball off, the deck system will go over. I don't know if we have to remove the U-bolts or not, figure that out when the time comes, but here it is. So my idea when we get the Camaro after we get the Camaro running and get the lift on this from Metal Cloak, why, my idea was to get our Chevy truck going because it is a one-ton dually 12-valve Cummins diesel swapped Chevy. Uh, so the power wagon would be relieved of hauling the camper and anything else in the Chevy is an eight-foot bed instead of six-four. But this is where we're at right now. Kind of miss the truck in this configuration without the topper it looks weird because it's been like that for so long but here it is hopefully i can get some footage of what his truck looks like we don't know if it is totaled we don't know if any of his airbags blown but this is the end result for the power wagon 
So moral of the story is when you have your own vehicles and we have 10, not including the camper, the can and the four wheeler, when you have your own vehicles that need worked on, tell everybody to screw off and fix your stuff because at the end of the day, your stuff is what matters most. Have a great day.